In this video, we're going to look at the Babylonian number system. The Babylonian system used different symbols to indicate numbers. This was for one. This is for two. For three, you kind of see what's happening there. This was the symbol for ten. So nine would have been nine of these individual strokes here. This would be twenty. And this is the symbol for sixty. You say, well, gee, the number for 60 looks just like the one for one. And it does. We'll come back to how we they handle that problem. Suppose we want to write the number, our number 13. We have what's called the decimal notation system. Decimal for 10. Decimal notation. If you want to write 13, you need to have one of a 10. So you have the 10. And then you have to have three of the ones. So there is how the Babylonians would write 13. If you want 32, you would write three of the tens. There's one, there's two, there's three, and then you need two of the ones. So there's 32. Now, if they wanted to write a large number, let's say they wanted to write 200. 14. What they would do is they would use three of the 60s and then they left a space because they're now in their next place value. So there is your three 60s, that's 180, space, and then they would start doing the 10s. That would be 180, then we have 190, then we have 200, we have 210, 211, 212, 213, and 214. The space right in here is what differentiated between 60 and the 1. So that's how the Babylonians used their system. 60 different symbols. Um, hope that helps you with their system. And as always, have a very happy day.